Hi friends, welcome back to today's session and for today's vlog, we'll be doing a question of what's in my pencil case. And I do have my main pencil case here. Um, I do have another pencil case and I have other pencil case that I keep pencils in. Um, the other pencil case that I have that I would use often is my traveling pencil case and that only contains a pencil, a number to be lead pencil, a small eraser, and a small, very, very small sketchbook. I think the size of the sketchbook is like three by four. So it's a very small sketchbook, three inches by four inches. So it's a very small sketchbook. But for the most part, my main pencil case that I use whenever I'm doing, especially when I'm here in my space doing sketches, is this one. And it says, made with passion in style, and it's an Angu um, pencil case. It is made from canvas paper. It is very much, very, very sturdy. I love it because of that sturdiness. It has this little handle here that I can carry around with me and it holds a lot it, it looks like it has in a lot but it really doesn't so let me show you guys what, are, what is in my pencil case okay so my pencil case uh, has two openings it has this one on top and it has this side one here I'm sure you would have seen this side piece flipped open in the corner of my art videos that you have seen me do. Um, it has a protractor in it where I can make circles. This protractor and I have some history because this is a protractor that I brought back with me while I was studying in an Asian country to get my degree. And I really enjoy it. I like the fact that it comes in its own little casing and it's a retractable pencil and it does come with spare lead so that's really cool for me. And it only cost a buck because I bought this at the Daisy. Also in and it has like this little pocket leaf here but it also have these rubber pockets here that I can use to hold pens and I do have some pens in it. I have my Signal Uniball white pen in it and I believe this is a 0.8 size no it's a 1 point millimeter size nib I have my gouache pen in it that I bought from Aliexpress it's another white gel pen in this I also have my highlighter um, this is when I'm doing like my sessions when I'm planning out my sessions in my green book I will use this highlighter to highlight my topics that I want to talk about I have another high uh, correction ink I rarely use this I use this correction ink a lot of times mostly for highlights than correction so I have a pipette and this is mainly because when I do long travels and I and I go out districts a lot, I would take this pencil case with me and I will also take some watercolors with me. And I'll use the pipette to fill my water brush or to moisten the watercolor. I told you this part has me a lot. I, has, I have two traveling brushes here. I have this one. This is a synthetic traveling brush. It's a number six filbert. I also have this traveling brush here. It is a number seven round sable brush. These have all been shaped already. And when I say I shape them, I usually put a little bit of gum arabic on them just so that they can keep their point. I have a single tertillion and a refilled. This is a eraser refilled for my eraser. Okay, I also have two pins here in my bag. I have this one here from Scrawler Box to celebrate Scrawler's 50th box. And I have this one here that um, is from Bailey J. I'm a little ducky. 
pin and I have those pin on the little divider that separates this part of my pencil case from this part and now in this part of the pencil case I'm gonna show you now what's in this part okay so now in this part of the pencil case I have my eraser this is a Milan Try jet eraser I actually love this eraser and the refill that I have in here is actually for this eraser here and the reason why I admire this eraser so much is because of the triangular design it's able to get into little corners and it assists with detailed erasing so that's why I like it sorry for the green duct tape I kind of dropped it and oh. I also have the Milan Technique 920 and this eraser is amazing when it comes to erasing graphite it just obliterated I also have this eraser here this is my kneadable eraser look how nice it comes right up so yeah this is my kneadable eraser I keep it in this little thin case here that I got from Artistic Isle. This is so neat as a free gift. In here I also have another brush. It is a water brush. So it has a little chamber, can be filled with water. Synthetic brush, really nice. I have two Sharpies. I have a Sharpie Fine Point and I have a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. As you can see there. These I use when I do practice sessions for line art. I also have a six centimeter ruler. And the rest of the stuff in this little pocket is a glue. I have a little pointer's glue. I have three pigment liners in number one, point one, sorry a point three and a point six. This is for when I do like serious artwork, I guess. Um, I will use these liners. I have the checking pencil when I need, when I want to draw and I want to add a little bit of color. I use this checking pencil. I have a pen. Just a regular pen. I, I believe I got this from a convention. And a mechanical pencil. Now this is the same cheap mechanical pencil I would have shown you in a previous video or in another video, I'm not sure. I just put duct tape around it because I kind of like the color for me. And all those fit in the second compartment. I told you there's a lot of stuff in here. Voila. And from this compartment here, we are now coming into this compartment. So there's a lot of little compartments in here. I have a sharpener. Oops, sorry. Didn't realize I still have shavings in there. I have to take those out. This is a Milan sharpener. It has dual ended where it can sharpen to a fine point or a dull point. I have a sponge. I normally use a sponge when I'm using my water brush. Just taking out some of the pencil shavings that came out from the sharpener. I'm going to use the water brush and I'm traveling and I just dab it on this sponge. So that's the purpose for this sponge. And I have another eraser in here which is a Milan Nata Negra. And this is just basically a black eraser for when I'm working on black paper. So it doesn't cause too much discoloration while erasing. In the other little pocket I have two little containers. Uh, this one was previously used. It's just some little containers that I got. Empty containers. And this one has, I think this one still has some water. Yeah. This is basically where I keep my water. When I go out and I want to do some sketches. I will normally take a small palette with me. And I'll fill these with water. And then I will take this entire thing with me. And let me get that palette for you and show you how I fit everything in here. So normally when I go on very long trips, and these are trips that will take hours before you reach your destination, I'll take this little 
Altoid small peppermint casing with me and in here has some watercolors yeah very beautiful colors uh, I think it's a great basic set for color mixing and so I will put this in here these are already dry so I'll put this in here I have these two little containers here that I will put water in one for rinse and one for wash and I will close up my pencil case everything fits in there along with my watercolor sketchbook and I'll be good to go so everything basically for me holds in here and that's about it so that's what's in my traveling case hey guys let me know in the comments below what do you carry in your pencil case and with that thank you always for joining me and as always stay safe stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye